Hey guys, Bar Garden Eat. Definitely something different today. Uh, gonna get out of the kitchen and go work in a chicken coop for a little bit. Uh, not sure if you're tracking or what or aware or anything, probably not, but I lost a bunch of chickens a couple weeks ago and I uh, don't want that to happen again. So um, I just received about two hours ago uh, from Amazon uh, my chicken door from Voss, not promotion promoting Voss, don't know anything really about this product, uh, but it's an automatic chicken door and I'm gonna install that and it's gonna be definitely the next level uh, for us because don't gotta wake up super early in the morning and uh, don't gotta wait for them to go to bed to shut them down at night. So uh, yeah, let's go get this thing installed and uh, hope for the best that it works. Let's go. This is what I got. So first off, to start off with, these are the rail systems. All right, gonna go vertical. For the sliding door, piece of aluminum. It's got a little film on it. And then it's got some counterweights that come with it and some screws for the slide section. Instructions, instruction manual that I normally never read, but I'm going to this time. Uh, and then for the actual motor itself, uh, a couple pulleys, looks like four pulleys, so I can do kind of a weird configuration to get to the slider door. And I'm assuming that these batteries are for kind of a, a backup battery in case the power goes down. And, um, and then the, the brains of the operation is going to be the Voss uh, chicken door. And it's a pretty simple setup. It's got four little buttons, a little digital read up, and then on the bottom it's going to have, I, I'm assuming it's just some sort of weird servo pulley system set up inside and then it just up and down with the sis with this uh, strength to operate the door uh, and then power cord and some screws for that to mount it okay cool let's uh wish me luck let's figure this thing out uh, keep in mind too but my chicken shack is literally a shack that I made out of a bunch of just scrap pallets and stuff that I got from all over the place building material leftover stuff from when we built the house so it's not gonna be the prettiest, but it's gonna work. All right guys, sorry about that. Uh, ran out of battery, but kept on moving on with the progress. So, so far I've got the slider in. Um, I got a little backup support because this wall is a little uneven. Uh, I'll show you guys real quick. This wall obviously is pretty uneven, so I just put a little backup filler here so it stabilizes this track system. And then we've got a couple pulleys. And then from that point, we've got uh, the motor up here. And I'm still trying to get it calibrated and figured out. Yeah, what's pretty cool about this system is it's got a basically a little knot on this side here that runs, I got a knot that runs all the way up this string and then it triggers this little stop paddle here. So what I'm finding out now is that I think if I go all the way down, if I go all the way down with the door, it stops like halfway down or it did. Yeah, I don't know what it's doing that for. I gotta figure that part out. But I think if I weight it, let's see down. I think if I weight it, it might it might trigger it to where I have a sensor or something in it that knows to go down even further. Yeah, baby, what's up, dude?
on some bugs. So, organic pesticide, move low torch action. sucks okay so I basically have to move this whole door over um, I don't know if you guys can see this but that right there is load bearing so it's holding up my roof on this shack so I've got to shift this whole thing over just enough to clear this space and I'll get them to crawl in on this side so it's that's Leben okay So I just added three of these little weights on the back side. The reason why I wanted to do on the back side is because I didn't want to really create like a handle or something for like the predator to use, especially the raccoon, um, to like lift this thing up. I still have to work on trying to frame it in to where it doesn't get access from the top. Um, but yeah, let's see how it works with a little bit of weight and see if it still catches up. All right, so this is the part I was worried about when it goes down the initial start to, when it initially starts to lower it caught a little bit. Okay, now let's go ahead and hook up the uh, power cord, which looks pretty easy. To, uh, I just found out too, it's um, it's got like a light sensor um, cable to it as well. So that's a pretty cool feature. And this is the, uh, the light sensor. Got a little four pin here. And then some cool little optical sensor on the tip of it. Just uh, cap this bad boy, uh, set the date and the time and uh, when we want to open it, when we want to close it. So I'm not going to stack my chips on this light sensor. Um, not too sure how it works. Uh, I put it in my pocket like while it was plugged in for like, for like, I put it in my pocket while it was plugged in for like two minutes or so. It didn't really do anything while the door was open. So anyways, cool thing to have, but...
Alright guys, finished. Check it out.